Hello and welcome. I was going to to you know just play some games live, if you can say so. You know, commenting commenting while while playing. But um, I just wanted to show this game I, I played on, on my phone uh, earlier this week because I'm pretty pretty happy about it. I think it went quite well. So. Um, yeah, this is like a, a standard tactic I'm, I'm using. I like it a lot. Uh, so whenever some particular particular animals are on my weekly pack, I, I tend to use it. So I'm just going to fast forward if I can. And yeah, auto main picker. And we'll just run through this. So starting off with a loss. Uh, don't know if I can pass word in. Oh, yeah, I can. So I can. As you can see, focusing on on getting some some health in early. Just hoping to to not get that two losses in the, in the start, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I got one life back. And this is the start of it. I, I'll add a hedgehog, one of my favorite animals, just because it's so, I don't know, destructive. I like to mess up with people's tactics, so uh, uh, that's why it's one of my favorites. I don't know, if, if you've played a lot of Super Auto Pets, you'll know that, that uh, completely forgot what I was about to say. Uh, yeah, we'll skip it. Skip it. Add the ant eater um, just to get some stats up with the ant spawning out. And as you can see for this tactic with the hedgehog, I've been really lucky so far. I got the ant eater, I've got the stork, I got two other storks. So everything's adding up right now. Still haven't won a game, but I haven't lost one either. And now here's the first win. So draws is good, and that's exactly the animal I wanted, as you can see. And the micro, I think it's called. Micro. Yeah, micro. And this is essentially the, the tactic. I get a draw again. So we're up to six games. I get lucky again with a headshot. Six games, no losses, a lot of draws. Just what I want. Another win. Another microbe. Another stork, another giraffe. Uh, so yeah. As I said, quite lucky so far with, uh, with the animal spawning. And there's someone with almost the same technique as me. Another draw. And that's why I like this technique. It's hard to lose. <laughs> uh, add a husky, add a carrot, and some attack on the micro because I don't just want it to, to faint. I want it to do some damage before fainting on the first animal. So that's the reason for, for that one. Another draw. We're up to round 10. Still haven't lost. <laughs> and uh, removing the antidote from the orca because the orca has more potential to spawn better animals later on. That's mainly the reason. Now, the downside with this tactic is when you meet like hippos or boars or rhinos, which I did just then, and if the, you don't have enough enough stats, now you, you can see I I got the stork up to level three. I added chocolate to the husky to get the stats up, and as I said, rhino not good. Wiped my whole team. So more stat more stats. Chocolate on the orca and freeze another husky. 
And I mean, the middle is not good, looking that bad now, stats wise, but it's still not enough. Anyway, I got lucky with the uh, sheep. Yeah, still got a, a draw. So, yeah. More stats on them. And just freeze everything. And is someone that takes this strategy to the extreme? Which unfortunately doesn't work because I. My orca spawn in. Yeah, and that's what needed. Uh, orcas everywhere, huskies, microbes, hedgehogs, and the chocolate. So everything I wanted basically spawned in. And this is the tech to just spawn out as, as much animals as possible. Hopefully, with the microbe weakening the, the opponent, will take them down. Added the husky to level 3 to get some more stats up. And we're into round 15. And since they have some more stats now, and spawning loads of animals, the, the rhino didn't take, take the ones behind out straight away. Uh, starting to add more food to the husky, because that's the only one that doesn't get that much stats from it. As you can see now, Hedgehog survives, the, the Rhino, spawning in another, another microbe, and yeah. So we're up to level 70, and <laughs> we still only have 5 victories. And uh, this is actually the first time ever I, I've gotten a microbe to level 3, and yeah, doesn't usually show up that, much, that many microbes. And I got a bit lucky there, but, but the stats of the scorpion was enough to take it out, take the opponent out. As you can see, almost up to level 3 and everything. It's just the hedgehog left, and the stats are starting to look quite nice, if I say so. Even when, when the opponent is changing my whole team, so the, the hedgehog, which is the load bearer, is at the, at the back works out and as you can see I'm just rolling for for hedgehogs now so everything on level 3 next round is going to be just look for food food everywhere this could have, it could have been a, a great tactic if it wasn't for all the spawn that spawned in so that's that's very downfall again food for the husky no point in, in saving for anything else right now. Just hoping to get get the stats up. And yeah. Spawning everywhere as you can see. And got lucky there that I got a victory out of it. I would have been happy with a draw. And some more food. Give me more food for Husky. And we're, we're getting quite close to, to both 10 uh, victories. I'm up to 8 now. Still 3 lives left. And 50 50 in stats. And as you can see, it's more, more thing about wearing them down. And uh, lucky for both that spawn Huskies at the end. Still freezing food, like crazy. Up to level 22. And quite an easy victory compared to the other ones. So, 9 victories, 3 lives left. So close to 50 50 in stats. And as you can see, last one, probably the easiest victory uh, in a long while. And there you have it. Uh, 10 victories, turn 23, level 3 on all animals, and close to 50-50.
Uh, as I said at the beginning, quite happy with this round. Um, I hope you, you, you like this video. And uh, please like and sub subscribe if you if you do, do enjoy these comments. Um, have a great one. Bye.